what is scapular dyskinesia? So scapular dyskinesia is typically a phenomenon of what we see of winging shoulder blades or scapulas. Um, what tends to happen and what causes that the most is like a muscle, muscle imbalance. Sometimes you might have a nerve um, injury that might create a little bit of the winging. Um, but most of the time, and, and what we typically see in the clinic is most of the time it's based off of a muscular imbalance. You got really tight muscles, you got really weak muscles that tend to just not work together. Um, attached to that shoulder blade, you got about 17 muscles that help stabilize and support it. And the majority of the time, like I said, you just have that muscular imbalance that just doesn't allow the shoulder blades to stay pinned to the rib cage. So typically in the clinic, when we see someone come in, they may be like a high school athlete or a collegiate athlete. Um, I think the research says somewhere in the ballpark of about 76% of college athletes have scapular dyskinesia. So sometimes just going through like a high school sport, they just don't get the proper training and, and stability work that they need to kind of avoid this condition altogether. Uh, we also see that a majority of patients with shoulder impingement will also have some form of scapular dyskinesia. So this scapular dyskinesia condition tends to be associated with a lot of different conditions um, that affect the shoulder or affect the mid back. Uh, because biomechanically speaking, when the muscles are, when there's an imbalance in the muscles, you tend to get the scapular dyskinesia problem as well as other conditions as well. So it is very common to see this in conjunction with other conditions in our office. So first and foremost in the clinic, we need to be able to determine biomechanically speaking, if those shoulder blades are having a, a problem with stability and support. Um, we like to see proximal stability with the shoulder blades so you can get distal mobility. And that's typically where you're gonna see the shoulder injuries come into play, is, is if you're not able to stabilize and support those shoulder blades onto that thoracic rib cage, then typically distally or further away, shoulders, elbows, wrists, you may get some form of a kind of a cascade effect and an injury down the road. So. In the clinic, we like to treat this several different ways. One, joint mobility, you know, joint manipulation or, or adjustments to the thoracic rib cage, maybe into the neck, the lower cervical region. Um, we also like to typically adjust the shoulders as well as just do a little bit of soft tissue work. So the soft tissue may include um, some form of myofascial release, cupping, dry needling. Uh, and then at the end of that, we kind of compound it all with strength training. Okay. Typically our training will include some form of like stability work uh, because we have to teach those muscles to engage and hold down those shoulder blades um, again. So that way when the shoulder blades are nice and stable, then further down the chain, we'll see it, uh, an, an improvement in those conditions as well.
yourself notice a winging scapula, you know, things like that, you feel like you don't have that stability, or you know someone that might have that, um, we'd love to help. So give the office a call at 513-463-3011, and uh, we'll take a look at it. Thanks.